We are Gary and Brooke, and since January 2020, we've been sailing around the Bahamas and the Caribbean on our floating home, One Life. The past couple months, we were in Colombia, and now presently in Panama. Our first couple weeks here were absolute bliss, but it seems as though lately, the sailing gods have been challenging us. In our last video, we swapped our anchor chain and discovered a rotten spot in one of our bulkheads. We put a band-aid over it for a temporary fix and added it to our to-do list during our next haul out. Isn't this sailing life supposed to be all sunshine, cocktails, and bikinis? Hmm, maybe not. Well, it is another work day on One Life. It rained so much last night, so the first thing I need to do is go bail out our dinghy because it's completely filled with water. And then I'm gonna clean the bottom and Brooke's gonna work on a video. And it's a perfect day for fish soup. So I just boiled another head. It's in process. And I've got the fish stock going over here. <laughs> yeah, so just a rainy day. All right, that's good enough. No point in emptying it all the way because it's just gonna rain again. It's been a little over a year since we bottom painted One Life in Grenada. The paint is still doing a pretty good job, but soft growth is almost inevitable in these warm tropical waters. I like to clean the bottom at least once a month to keep the hull smooth and fast through the water. I always start with the propeller, as any growth on it can cause vibrations and poor efficiency when motoring. After getting everything cleaned, it was time to change our shaft anodes. I hung a bucket from the shaft to hold my tools and the new anodes. These anodes protect our underwater propulsion gear from corrosion, and it's important to change them when they start to get worn down. We last changed these when we hauled out in Grenada 15 months ago. The anodes are sacrificial metals and lose material over time due to electrolysis so that the shaft and propeller don't. The bucket is meant to catch anything I might drop, but only if it's positioned right. With the old anodes removed, all that was left to do is bolt on the new ones, and everything was looking A-OK. -okay. Just got done cleaning the bottom and changing our zincs. These ones we put on back in Grenada. So they've been on for a little over a year now, and they probably have a little more than a half of the material left, but they're cheap insurance to make sure that the shaft and the propeller don't corrode. So I went ahead and swapped them out. How much do they cost about? Oh, I don't know. I can't remember what we paid in Grenada for the new ones, but maybe $10 each. Much cheaper than a new propeller. <laughs> I'm gonna relax, have some fish soup, just got all my gear rinsed off, rinsed myself off. Time to kick back for a little bit. My work here is done. For Still today. rainy. It's a cloudy day, so we're just hanging out on the boat today. Work was nice enough to wait for me to get out of the water to dump the pot with the fish head, <laughs> because I guess she didn't want to attract any sharks while I was cleaning the bottom. Such a sweetheart. And what else did you wait to do before I got out of the water? Oh, I didn't flush the toilet. <laughs> yeah, so there's one very major rule when I'm down there cleaning the bottom, and that is do not flush the toilet. <laughs> I don't think I need to explain that anymore. Where are we going? We are leaving swimming pool and headed to a new set of islands. We are going to go to the Lemon Caves. And it's kind of a rainy, lazy day, but 
we decided to do something and go for a sail. So about 10 miles-ish, and we have about 10 knots on the beam. So we're gonna roll the head sail out and get going. The wind shifted from on the beam to light and behind us. We tried wing on wing, but as soon as we got it all set up, the wind died completely. As we motored into the anchorage, we compared the Navionics charts to our paper charts. Navigating around the reefs and the San Blas Islands can be a bit tricky. We just got anchored here in, where are we? <laughs> We just got anchored here in Eastern Lemon Cays, and our friend James on Zingaro is right next to us here. We tried to motor here. I mean, no, we tried, to sail we tried not to motor here, but we ended up having to because the wind dropped down to like four knots. So we motored for like two hours to get here, but that's all right. We needed the charge anyway, since it's so cloudy, we aren't getting any solar power. I just bought this nice shirt from the master mola maker, Lisa. She's well known here in the San Blas Islands for her molas. And this is the first time I've seen a shirt and it's actually dry fit. So yeah, I couldn't pass this one up. It fit me perfectly and it was 20 US dollars. So pretty cool. Good morning. We have been here in the East Lemon Caves for a couple days now, but it's been raining the whole time we've been here. So we've just been hanging out on the boat and editing and watching a lot of movies. We were hoping to go for a Thanksgiving Day snorkel. With no ends of the rain in sight, we decided to overindulge and cook a Thanksgiving Day feast. Who knew you could cook an entire Thanksgiving Day feast using only a tiny boat oven? Well, it is another cloudy, overcast, rainy day here in the San Blas. But tomorrow we are going to sail to Linton Bay and we won't be in the water for probably a week or so. So that means we're gonna go ahead and jump in and check it out anyway. It's probably murky and cloudy because of all the rain, but who knows, maybe we'll see something cool. Living on a boat when it's raining for days is tough, but this quick snorkel reset my mood and reminded me the tough days are worth it. that worked out well. I got a quick snorkel in before the rain, <laughs> but another storm is coming. Hooray. Yeah, that's the sound of our water maker going while it's raining out and it's been raining for like five days straight. It was such a waste to be running our water maker with all this rain. So we pulled out a tarp, a couple bungees and a bucket and made a rain catching system. We successfully captured our first bucket of water and it's still raining, so maybe we'll be able to get a couple more buckets. Rainy season in the San Blas Islands is no joke. We hadn't seen the sun in days and after our past couple weeks, the challenges of living on a boat were starting to get to us. 
Catching rainwater is the highlight of our day today. <laughs> The truth is, living on a boat is hard, but traveling by boat is amazing. Good morning. It is 6 a.m. and although it's still rainy and gross out, we need to leave the sand blast and head back to Winton Bay for a couple things. So we're getting the boat ready to sail and we should be pulling anchor shortly. started out with our mainsail, what we call like double reefed. Really it's infinitely adjustable. We don't really have reef points, but we basically count the battens. So we started out with what would be a double reef in our main and our staysail because the wind was blowing like 15 to 20 knots. And it was okay. We were moving along at five knots, doing pretty good, but the wind dropped down. It's about 10 to 12 knots now. So we uh, rolled out the rest of our main and we brought out the Genoa. And now we're ripping along doing seven knots, so it's nice and comfortable. The wind's a little bit behind us, and the swells are just a little bit behind us, so it's pretty much the ideal direction for us. So hopefully we uh, keep the speed up and can get to Linton Bay before sunset. It's going to be close. And the reason we're headed back to Linton Bay is because Gary gets to pick up his new... Friends? Drum! <laughs> Maybe. There's supposed to be a drone waiting for us at Linton Bay. We'll see. Yeah. But also, our friends are coming into town and we're going to restock up on groceries and pick them up in a couple days. We see a squall in the distance, so we just brought in our head sail and put our stays sail back out. We feel the cool water or the cool air coming our way. Well, didn't have much wind to it, so our head sail is back out now. We just got a little bit of rain, but nothing crazy. When we're prepared, we don't get a storm. When we're not prepared, all hell breaks loose every time. <laughs> With our head sail out, we're back to doing seven knots. It's moments like sailing with these dolphins that you forget how hard living on a boat is. I think people call it sailor's Alzheimer's. As we approached the mainland, the wind died, so in came the sails. The outflow from the nearby rivers pouring into the ocean created this abrupt color change. It was pretty eerie.
just anchored in Linton Bay and we're not thrilled about our anchor spot. We're in about 45 feet and meh, we don't love it, but there's lots of boats in here and yeah, figured we'll just drop here for tonight. It started raining again and maybe we'll reposition in the morning, but we're going to get some sleep because tomorrow we have lots of chores to do morning it's our first day here in Linton Bay doing chores and our first order of business is going to the marina to see if our new drone is here in our package full of everything else I think the marina will probably be closed because it is Independence Day here in Panama so we're gonna go check it out and see maybe they'll be open The marina office was closed, so we took off back to the boat and ended up coming across this little dude. Buddy, oh my god, he is swimming! He's swimming. He's swimming. He's swimming. He's swimming. He's swimming. He's swimming. Oh my god. Oh, we, can, we can pick him up and let it uh, give him a ride. Are you going to give him a ride? Yeah, he's just swimming. Oh, he's just swimming. Yeah, he's swimming. Oh my god. I bet he'll curl up on the dinghy. Oh, he's reaching for you guys. Yeah, I bet he'll curl up on the dinghy. Look at him. Waving He's over. waving you over. Pick him up. Is he heavy? So we uh, put him on shore. Yeah, put him on shore. Yeah, both that up. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Is he stuck? Oh boy. Sorry, sorry. The tree. Yeah. Get into the tree. Oh, the tree. Here you go, boy. You seriously never know what you are going to see out here. Well, of course, we weren't able to get our package, but on our way back to the boat, we met up with our friends on Sailing Black Moon, who were rescuing a sloth that was in the water struggling to swim across this bay. So that was really cool to see. We've seen sloths before from far away, but we got a really good look at this one. It is still a rainy, cloudy, lazy day here in Linton Bay, but we are gonna try once again to get our package. But I've been trying to do laundry, and of course it's not drying with all the rain, so also gonna check out their laundromat here. The water in this harbor is now brown like the river as well. So gross. So we got our package. We just gotta hope that everything's in it. <laughs> we'll go over to the restaurant and check it out. See if the drone's in here. It is pretty tough to get stuff out here, so we were pretty stoked for this box. Between shipping, customs fees, and arranging for pickup, this 20 pound box cost us $214 to get. Just noticed that there is a boat next to us um, that is actually taking on water and sinking. And we don't think anyone's on board, so Gary and our friend Niels um, just ran over there to see what they can do. Things happen so quickly out here. I know we see it all the time, but it's so true. One minute everything's fine, and then the next minute all hell can break loose, so... Ugh. Seeing a boat like this, although clearly in rough condition, even before taking on water, is absolutely gut-wrenching. The odors billowing out from inside were unbelievably wretched. Still, we would hate to see a boat like this become a navigational and environmental hazard. I just got back to One Life. Me and Niels this morning ran over to a boat anchored next to us that was going down by the bow and the boat was completely filled with water. So we hopped up on board and a couple locals came out and we asked them to go see if they could find a gasoline pump. 
and we noticed water was coming in through the bow anchor locker. So we reached over and plugged those holes so that water would stop gushing in through those bow anchor drains. And then a couple other cruisers came over and they had a generator and a big pump. So we got that going and the boat's being pumped out right now, but it's pretty sad. It's just an abandoned boat sitting there about to go, go down and cause a real uh, mess of everything. There's still a ton of stuff inside of it, which would just be a, a real disaster for all of the waters around it. Finally, a day on One Life where it isn't raining. It has been raining here for, I think, two weeks straight to the point where we've had laundry out for the last four days on the rails and it didn't dry. But today we're finally getting there. Yay, laundry! <laughs> We had a leak around our mast boot that needed to be fixed, but our major problem was our forward deck hatch, which needed to be rebedded. This is what three or four days worth of boat projects looks like. We've got everything opened up now and we're trying to air everything out because it's finally sunny and there's a good breeze, but it's still a disaster in here. Oh, forgot to stop here. So above our head, there's some wires that come down through from the solar panels and they're leaking where they pass through the deck. Yeah, not quite ready for friends yet, but we'll get there. After removing the old hatch, we first needed to clean out all the old sealant. A wire brush worked wonders on the aluminum hatch frame, but on the deck, we had to scrape by hand. We masked off the area to leave a clean caulk line and raced against the incoming clouds to get it finished before the next rain. We were doing everything we could to make sure we were ready to take our friends to San Blas in a few days. Hatch is done and rebedded. So now we can put the forward cabin back together and hopefully stuff will stay dry up there. Thanks for watching and join us next time as we head back to the San Blas Islands.